Broadcasting live worldwide. You know, sometimes we go about our day, our weeks, and we say to ourselves, wow, you know, life is tough, life is rough, life is this, life is that. And we stop, and we don't stop to think about all the things that are happening around us. For example, we may be having a tough week, right? Maybe having a tough Easter break. Maybe having a tough month, and that just started. But think about all those people that lost their homes. All those people that were in the arms and the way of this twister. All the families that are mourning the loss of their children, of their brothers or sisters, grandparents. You know, we don't really get too political here at Have Faith, Let It Begin. We try to stay away from all the negativity. But one day, I guess it has to be today, where we have to confront the reality. Our world is different. Our world has changed. But there's one thing that will never change. God's love for us. Have Faith, Let It Begin. Tuesday edition, April 4th, 2023, starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Noah! Noah. Happy birthday, Noah! You did amazing. Have faith, live again. When it starts, why now? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel. On this Tuesday, April 4th, 2023, we must remember everything that has transpired in the last week or so. It seems like every week, you know, you turn on the TV, you turn on the news, whenever you decide to turn on the news, because God knows I haven't been watching the news as much lately because it's just so much negativity. But as I was at work, colleagues were telling us at what had just happened uh, last week. And when I heard about the weather and the twisters and I've heard about the shooting, it, it really hit home to me. Uh, because I remember that morning, I kept saying, wow, life is just so rough, man. I only wish, I only wish, and, and we could finish that sentence, any, of, any one of us, uh, so easily, right? Then I said to myself, I don't wish to be any of those people. And I don't say that in a very, I'm not trying to be disrespectful by any means. But I know, I I shouldn't say I know either. I can only imagine, I can't even begin to imagine actually, what they're going through. Now, I started off this way, not to bring our Tuesday down, but to find some type of joy, some type of understanding, some type of way of thinking from all this negativity that's around us. We could easily get caught up in it. We could easily get caught up and get depressed from it. You know, there's not a day that doesn't go by that when I think about or I see things on social media that make me wonder why. It has to be posted. Why it has to be released. Why so many of us are intrigued and need to watch it. And then when we do, some of us just don't feel good about it. Some of us feel as if there's something wrong. And then we try to relate it to our own lives, but we can't. We really can't. Unless, of course, you've been involved in a school shooting. Unless, of course, you've been involved in a a tornado where it ripped off your house and your foundation. Unless you've been in a situation where you just can honestly say you know what they're feeling. You know, as I sit here on a red light and watch people get upset because the, the lights haven't turned green or get impatient or... Yesterday, when I'm driving my kids to the dollar store, just watching people not happy, no smiles on their faces. Now, 
this is out in the parking lot because I'm wearing a mask inside of a store. But just watching all these people that you interact with, not happy. It makes you wonder what is happening in this world. Now let me flip this. When I wake up in the morning, I pray to God. When I wake up in the morning, I thank God. Sometimes I don't even use my words. I just think it. I say it to myself. And then I feel better. I understand that He is the way. You know, this is Holy Week for for most of us. Holy Week is such an important week. We remember all that He gave for this world. We remember the sacrifice that He gave for this world. But we also remember that we are part of the body of Christ. We all, all of us, have our DNA from God. We all have the joy and the love inside of us. The question is, are you ready to let that out? You know, here's a crazy analogy. You know, when we're watching The Karate Kid, one of the last episodes of the original Karate Kid was you have the best karate inside of you. It's now time to let it out. Well, we have the best of God inside of us. It's time to shine. It's time to allow that to come out. Some of us put on a smile on a daily basis, but deep down inside, we're miserable. We're upset. Perhaps maybe we haven't had that talk with God. Perhaps maybe we haven't shared with our friends just exactly what we're feeling, what we're going through. Where are you at today? Where would you like to be? How far are you willing to go to show yourself and others just the importance of the love that you have for our Heavenly Father? It's not about what car you drive, what home you bought. It's not about the money you spend on others. It's about the kindness that you have inside of you. So today, as you approach your work, your daily routines, try to think about all that you do. Try to remember all the good inside of you and let that out. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Have a great day, everyone. See you tomorrow.